Okay, so I'm not going to reconfigure this 128 gig. So what I need to do is to go to Control Panel, Administrative Tools, Computer Management, and I want to go to the Storage. So now I see this one right here. So I want to delete. Delete. So this one, you cannot do anything with that. Okay. So what we're going to do now is we're going to use, and we're going to use Runner Administrator. So we're going to do this part. So we're going to do list disk. So the one we want is this one. So select this one. So we do clean. So what we're going to do is that, um, so we're going to convert it to GPT. And then we're going to create partition EFI. EFI. I don't know if it is making a difference. Size equal 500. So we're going to format quick file system equal fat 32 label spell it correctly EFI all right so it's done so we're going to exit so now we're going to create a partition for the Catalina. So now we're going to make a simple volume. Next, we don't need to assign anything. So it is going to be Catalina 15.5. Okay, so it's done. Now we can boot and install. Catalina on this one. We can boot from the version 5.1.1.9 Clover to the Catalina installer with no SSDT patch. We will have all these ACPI errors, but that's okay. It will boot. Okay, so I'm going to boot with the um, open core because it's newer. It doesn't matter. You use Clover or open core. So when you don't have the DSDT patched, you will have all these ACPI error either with 
clover, or open core. So don't fret it. It just takes longer to boot. Okay, so now we go back to this utility. So we see here, Catalina 155. That's the one we created, at least in NTFS. So what we're going to do is going to erase it. Now they let us to do APFS. Is because it's a GPT. So Catalina required GPT. So we're going to erase it. And it should be very easily. Okay? So now we're going to install. Continue. Agree. So we want the external Catalina. So it's going to take three minutes. So this is going to be the first time. So it goes directly to the installer automatically with open core which is very nice if you use clover you have to direct redirect it to the installer okay so this is the second time and this one should reboot really fast There you go. Just reboot a second time really quickly. I'm going to go to F9 again. For HP, it's F9. I'll go to the macro installer again. So this will be the last time. Okay, so this should be the final installation. Again, we install it into this external and make sure it works first before we install it into the internal partition. So 16 minutes remaining. Okay, so it's done. So now I boot it to Catalina 155 automatically. Okay, so now we go to the welcome screen and start setting it up. So since I have the uh, DW1820A installed, so they see my Wi-Fi right away. But if you don't have it, just hit continue and continue, no Wi-Fi. Don't transfer anything, so create your... Okay, finishing it up, setting up the Mac. So we're done. Now the next one is going to be called Post Catalina. So what we need to do is actually we can install the um, updates since they have the new one.